Now this is where we're at so far. I just want to go over this process. I really don't need to polish it, but uh, the rest of my parts are polished. The side skirts and the headlight cover. So I've left this part alone for last and as you can see with the 2000 grit sandpaper you can see all the little specks in here. I want to see how well the HD camera will get, will get it. Now the, the, more, the better you, you put the clear on like right here, the smoother the less problems you're going to have. But even if you don't, you can always sand it down if you have enough clear to sand down. Now, I, I, I have noticed some problems here. We have some dots right here, like this one here, and this one. They look like little craters, and there's a few right up here. You see those? Now, the the blue ring around them is a low spot and the lighter is a high spot and you can see here's a perfect example right let me see where did it go right there okay now if you this happens when you use an air compressor and most air compressors are used in painting. But what happens with your air compressor over here, right here, is that the compressor when it works it creates heat and it also creates moisture. Water and paint don't go don't go at all on your on your paint work. So what's happened is I have little tiny pieces of moisture that have Splot it on there just like rough paint. Now it's not a big problem. I can take that off, but in a um, the one other trick that I'll I'll give you if you're using any kind of air compressor is go buy a little water trap. They're a little tiny. It's a little tiny thing about this big, and it has a inlet on one side and an inlet on the other, and you put it between either your tank and the gun or um, the hose and the gun. I thought I had one over here. Oh, I guess I do right there. This is a water trap right here. Okay, you can buy this at any paint store. And what that does is it lets the air go through the line and the, the compressor is naturally going to create moisture. So the air goes through but it traps the water. Now these come in a variety of different, this is a, a real cheap one, uh, you know, for home use. But if, say, if you were in a shop, they have some that are, oh, I, I, they're huge. They're, they're uh, like a, a, a huge water filtration system, but they're, uh, they're made for industrial use. And you always have to have this also traps grease too. Any kind of contaminant that is in that air compressor. That's why they have a, a water trap and so you'll avoid any kind of um, air, air or um, water bubble problems. There, it's just annoying and some compressors put out more water because if it's more humid, remember it, it compresses the air that is in the that is in and around you. If it's raining out that day, you're going to have a lot of water in the uh, in the paint. So I'll take my 2000 and I'll continue to go over these rough spots, and then I I I, I go over them and then I wipe it down with with uh, dry rags and I look at it and I'll keep going until everything looks just like this right here right here. And you can see where I've gotten up to the edge here. The, this real nice blue line right here is that's a low spot and if I keep going on this edge right here what I'll do is I'll burn into the orange and I don't want to do that. I don't care if it's a, if it's a 
uh, if it's a high and low spot right here, I just don't want to burn through the paint because after it's all polished, what the what the shining does is it will it'll hide a lot of defects. And we continue. Hope those tips helped.